Hi and welcome to Chandu.org. In this video, we're going to take a look at a very quick technique to customize your Excel charts. Over on Twitter, where I occasionally tweet some stuff about Excel data analysis and stuff like that at R1C1, uh, one of our followers, uh, Chetan, asked me how we can add an arbitrary line on top of the chart uh, at some point. So this is a just screenshot that he pasted there and he asked me how to do this. So I thought I'll show you but uh, you know as a very very quick tutorial. So here we go. I have made up some data. Uh, we don't have access to the actual data Chetan was working on. So I assumed this is a superhero factory and uh, we have some of the superheroes listed here. Their checkout times uh, in the factory both today and yesterday are maintained. Mm, you know, I'm trying to recreate a similar chart and we want to put an arbitrary line uh, at some point on the chart. Let's say uh, at 8.30 p.m. or 6 p.m. or 4 p.m. or something like that. A line that will go from here to there uh, just so we know um, this is the line and anybody crossing that line are the ones that we may want to focus. So how do you go ahead and add a line like that? Now there are many ways to do this kind of a thing. Uh, what we will do is uh, we will see one technique. So let us say uh, where we want this line to be drawn, line at and let's put some value here. Now all of these are time values so they are just time without any date attached to it. Uh, so we will simply say we want a line at uh, 6 p.m. Okay, um, I don't know if Excel understood this. Yeah, so this is a proper time value uh, that stands at that, right? And uh, we want the line going all the way from here to there. So what we could do is we can select this chart and uh, um, select data, and then we can add that. We will say add a line at series that has that value. What this does is it adds an arbitrary point because we haven't uh, told where this should belong. It uh, it just tags it right next to the first category of the chart and puts a, a vertical line like that. We don't want a vertical line. We wanted a horizontal line that goes from here to there uh, but stays at 6 p.m. all through. So we wanted a horizontal line not a vertical line. So now that that part is done we will right click on that and say change series chart type. If you're using an earlier version of Excel this might be called something else but uh, no matter what version of Excel you're using you can uh, find some way to change the chart type. Okay and what we will do is we will say this need not be a column so it can't be a clustered column it should be a line. Um, we can pick something like that but what that means is we will have to supply uh, 6 p.m. values across all the categories okay so we will end up writing a lot of values there so instead I thought uh, we can just uh, use a, an XY scatter plot what that does is it puts a dot at the 6 p.m. value there uh, and we will click OK so we'll get that value there uh, now we will go back and select data and look at line at and edit this so what this shows is y value is going to be 6 p.m. That's right. So this y value is there. Uh, but it doesn't have any x value. So it assumes the x value to be the first category. So it should it puts that value at uh, Batman. Now we can leave it at this or if you want to play with this you can put some arbitrary value and see what happens. If you put it at 3 it puts the dot on top of the third category. We don't want the dot to be anywhere. We we don't even need a dot. What we wanted was a line. Okay. So once you have the dot, you can go ahead and uh, play with this. Uh, there are a couple of ways to do this. The easiest way, once you have a dot like that, is to uh, simply add error bars to it. Okay. When you add an error bar, Excel will put some tiny lines on both directions. Uh, what we will do is select the dot now and press Control 1 to open up your formatting options. If you are using an earlier version of Excel you will see this in a dialog box uh, and that shows series options we will select uh, Y error bars. Y error bars are the ones that are going up vertically and we don't need them so we will delete the Y error bars. Okay. 
likewise we've select x error bars these are the ones that go in the horizontal direction and uh, we can't even see anything here because those are very tiny so excel cannot even show them uh, but if you put this as a fixed percentage and put it as 100 percentage or something like that you should be able to see the line okay this goes all the way from here to there uh, what this inadvertently does is it also extends the chart so now it, it is going in that territory uh, but we will figure that out a little later so what we will do is we will say I don't want this line going in both directions I want this to go only in positive direction so the line goes from here to there right uh, and we will say no cap because what happens is there will be a vertical line at the end for this error bar so we'll say no cap and uh, you can go to your formatting options and select the color you want uh, I'm going to just use a mild color like that and adjust the line thickness uh, play with this you know if you want let's just leave it there right once that's done we will come back to the the data point the dot uh, and select data remember we were just playing with this so I entered arbitrary value there we we'll leave it without any value so it starts from here and it goes like that and the error value needs to be one two three four five six how many ever categories are there so there are eight categories so we will need we want this error value to be not 100 percentage uh, not a standard error but a fixed value that is equal to 8 okay so it goes like that maybe 7 should do okay and uh, you will get a line like that you don't even need the dot so you can select the dot and uh, uh, and go to formatting options marker and uh, and marker options and set the marker to be done so there is no marker no line just the error bar that is shown at 8 6 p.m. So that's how you can add an arbitrary line. There are other techniques that you can use as well. But I find the, the error bar technique to be easier to work with. There are a couple of limitations with this approach. One is you will see an extra s item at the legend here. What you could do is you could altogether remove the legend and customize the chart so that these labels, uh, these columns are explained in a better way. Or if you want, you can... Um, uh, you can you know customize the legend so that that one goes off the other thing that you can also do is if you want to add a label on top of this so that you you want to explain what this line at is you can do that as well you can uh, select that series and um, and add labels to it for that we will just select that series and say data labels so that will show up as 6 p.m. Now, in in Excel 2016 and 2013, they have added features so that you can get this value from other cells. Uh, so we will simply say you could share uh, you could simply say series name uh, and uh, you know get rid of y value and uh, instead of showing it on the right, you can show it above and um, you know that should be sufficient. So this says line at instead of that. Uh, standard time or you know something like that okay so that shows up there as a label if you want if you don't want that label you want something custom you can also do that using value from cells option as well okay so this is how you can go create a chart like this I hope uh, you find this useful Chetan and I hope others who are watching the channel uh, are also finding this useful thank you so much for watching this video if you want to download this file uh, just check out the description of the video and grab it thanks bye bye